Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are gonna check out the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Trap Jaw action figure as he appears in the new Netflix animated series. Uh, been pretty excited about this one in particular, just because the design is so crazy on this guy. I was really anxious to see how it turned out in action figure form. I finally found this guy at Walmart. His package looks like it was stomped on, but uh, whatever. I'm going to open him up. So uh, we'll do a quick rundown of the packaging. Same style packaging we've seen for all the other figures in this line so far. We do have an image of Trapjaw from the cartoon up here at the top, the new Castle Grayskull fully showcasing the figure within the blister bubble. And then the back has a few images of the trap jaw figure, letting you know that he's got the pull and release power attack. Looks like he's got a missile as well. I don't know if it's spring loaded or if it just almost looks like it just flies out with his power attack. So uh, let's go ahead and get this guy ripped open and get a closer look at him. All right, so right out of the packaging, there is some minor assembly required with Trap Jaw. Uh, it's a one time assembly, as it notes on the back of the box, but you got this crazy large claw type thing that needs to attach to the front of his robo arm. So we should be able just to pop that in place. There we go, just like that. And it actually can rotate around, it's actually an articulation point. So it spins around and once it's in, it doesn't come back off. So that is pretty cool. And this is our brand new trap jaw action figure. So if I bring in the tape measure here, you can see he stands at five and a half inches, just like the other figures in this line. Also putting him in scale with vintage masters of the universe and masters of the universe origins uh, actually does feel chunky. Um, very similar to those old figures, just with a very stylized new look, the way he appears in this new animation. He's got this insanely oversized arm, uh, which honestly, not the first time that's happened. Uh, the 2000X inspired arm was also huge and oversized, uh, but this almost seems next level. I kind of like how it's a little bit smaller right above the elbow, and then it just grows into this big giant cannon claw combo thing. It's really, really intense. Now, one thing to note about this, of course, is this does remove a classic trap jaw action feature in that there's no interchangeable pieces for his robotic arm. It has this one part that we attach on that never comes back off, and then it has the missile piece, which you can see just slides through the arm as such. So we don't have the hook, um, you know, or the gun, all the interchangeable pieces. Uh, so that might be one of the first times we've really had that with a trap jaw action figure. Uh, in addition, he does not have an opening and closing jaw, which I'll be honest, it does seem like it loses some of the fun for the character. Now, I understand that they wanted to make it look the way it does in the series where it's got this crazy big oversized jaw with like the like the hinges kind of coming off the back and like the crazy spiral teeth on the inside there so i don't know how they would have been able to capture that look and still have the opening and closing jaw but again it's weird to have a trap jaw figure that doesn't do that uh, it's interesting, like the face at the top still is very reminiscent of the vintage with the colors there, the green and like the dark red helmet. He even has like the little ring thing on top of his helmet, though there's no actual ring there. Uh, and all the colors very similar to what we saw on the vintage trap jaw action figure. So the articulation on these is all pretty much the same across the board. The head can move left and right. It is not removable. It's not meant to be removable. You can see it's on there pretty solidly. You probably could pry it off if you really wanted to, but it definitely doesn't have that mix and match feature that Origins does. The arms just move up and down at the shoulder there. Looks like you can also turn the wrist over here on his normal arm. Uh, we're gonna take out the missile here for just a second, just to show you that his robo arm does the exact same thing. Now this piece over the shoulder is a more pliable kind of gummy piece of plastic, which you can see is just attached up at the top of the cannon. So it looks like it sits over a shoulder, but it doesn't actually get in the way of the articulation at all. Uh, the waist is articulated in the center here, like right in the midsection, but that of course is the spring loaded power punch. So just like we've seen with every figure in the slime, he can spring back for a power punch, just like on the vintage toy line, but you can also tilt him backwards and he springs forward for an attack as well. And then you've got those hinge like joints at the thigh legs and go outwards, 
slightly move forwards and backwards. It's a little hindered by his like skirt piece, though that is the same pliable plastic as the shoulder piece up here, uh, but there's no other articulation in the legs. I was really kind of thinking that the leg articulation, the way that, uh, that it moves there and has really no knees or anything, is very similar to the way a lot of the 2000X figures were. It really kind of reminded me that when I opened this guy up. Um, he stands just fine. You can see a little bit of a lean forward, but it's not too bad. He is still balanced, even though he's got this big, crazy, uh, arm over here and when it's down he even stands even better so let's come back to this missile i mentioned when i was looking at the packaging that i didn't think it was spring loaded and i was correct you can see it just comes out through the back there so it's definitely going to be one of those flick missiles so you could just do that to kind of flick the missile outwards or it will launch when you do the power punch so here let's just kind of like lift the arm up Swing his body outwards, boom! It doesn't go very far, but it does make it fly out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. Pew, pew, pew. Let's try to actually put him against a foe here. Come on, Duncan, come on in. You're going to be our test dummy here uh, for the trap jaw arm cannon. Yeah, that was... Got him, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, it's comparison time. So I mentioned that he was in the same scale as Origins and Vintage. So I want to start off with that just so you can see how they stand the same height, but they are very different looking with the new stylized look of these figures. And hey, just for fun, let's go ahead and stand them alongside all these other Trap Jaw action figures. So there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new Trap Jaw as he appears in the new Netflix animated series, the new kids show. Uh, honestly, I think this is a pretty fun toy line for the kiddos. Um, articulation is very minimal. It's very action feature heavy. But again, these big chunky boys are meant to be bashed around and played with. And they do feel nice and solid and good for that. Uh, overall, this guy looks pretty good. You know, I, I had a few paint ble blemishes on the armor here with some of that pink and like there's some black specks on his teeth but otherwise he looks fine it's a very very crazy stylistic look for trap jaw but i kind of like it i actually really like him in the show so i'm kind of glad to have this weirdo added to the collection and i'm pretty excited to see what else they're going to do with this line to be perfectly honest some of these stylized redesigns are kind of fun and just nice to see something a little bit different i don't know we got so many options out there it's hard to complain about all this He-Man. <laughs> so these are hitting store shelves right now. Like I said, I found this guy at Walmart. I think I was saying that they were $11.99 in my past videos, but they are actually a $9.99 at Walmart. So fairly cheap line of basic action figures to collect. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video and until next time.